Yes, colder temperature is coming in with an Arctic blast that we had this morning. Our chime in picture of an Arctic front. Stratus clouds in the distance. Fronts can sometimes cut the clouds perfectly straight across. And this is from Johnny Walls earlier today as we got that blast of snow in the morning. Well, colder temperatures does also mean additional chances for snowfall here. And our storm totals, they are increasing for our system on Monday and into Tuesday. Winter storm warnings now in effect here. These reddish purple colors. That's where the heaviest accumulations will occur, particularly in our southern counties into the next 24 hours. But winter weather advisory is still in effect as you get east of Charleston into the higher elevations as well. But these chances for snow, they are increasing around here as we have that weather alert day in effect now for Monday and also into Tuesday. Not much on the radar and satellite right now, but you can see looking back into the middle of the country near the Mississippi River, a little area of low pressure will form and that will bring in these snow showers as we head into your Monday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Yes, it's going to come in two rounds. Could be a little bit slick in the morning there on the highways and interstates. If you can avoid travel, might be a good idea just to stay put in the morning. But that's not all of it. A second round of snow showers comes Monday afternoon and evening and into Tuesday. And that one promises to be a little bit heavier than the first one in the morning. The difference, though, is that our morning snow showers will be more widespread, perhaps maybe an inch here in Charleston as we get into sunrise tomorrow. But the heaviest tolls from the first round will be down at the eastern Kentucky and the coal fields, pretty much extending northward to about Interstate 64, just south of Huntington and down into Interstate 77 towards Beckley. Beckley Definitely getting in on a lot of the activity, but looking down towards Logan, pretty good band of snow there in the morning. Now, here in Charleston, things do kind of quiet down around the middle of the day. There is the possibility for one light band of snow showers along the Ohio River. That's where we may not get as much snowfall from the second round. But... Again, maybe a coating to about an inch as you get closer to the river. Here in Charleston, though, we're going to watch for that second round to come in about 8, 9 o'clock at night. And these snow showers look heavier to us. Temperatures in the 20s there. This still continues a little bit into Tuesday, more of a mountain-driven snow shower event at this point. And down into the teens to start off your Tuesday morning into the 20s by the afternoon. Here is our updated snowfall totals map. And yes, you can see here in Charleston, the light blue, about three to five inches of snowfall. That's what we're expecting at this point in time right now. As you get closer to the river and Huntington, the Ohio River, that is, one to three inches. And then in the southeastern Ohio, beyond Lawrence County, a coating to less than an inch. Our southern counties, though, things look pretty, pretty significant down there. You get down to Logan and Pike County, Kentucky. Over five inches of snow possible, even down into Beckley, a little bit higher elevation there. This is an entirely snow event here. There's no mix of wintry precipitation. Okay, the temperatures are cold enough. The chance is really there to have some good snowfall in those southern counties. But Tuesday, not all that bad by the afternoon and evening. Just going to be very cold. We could wake up with extremely cold temperatures on Wednesday. Wind chills here could be in the single digits, if not even in the negative range as you head into some of our higher elevations. The next chance for snow, a developing system, another low pressure wave forming Thursday night into Friday. Still a ways out here, but we're still dealing with the cold temperatures and conditions. The seven-day forecast does show another chance for snow with highs only in the 20s and 30s heading into the weekend.